Welcome to Breaking the Chains. I'm your host, Vakita, and I'm still in the United States. It's been a while since I made a video. My intentions were to make videos letting you guys know how it was being back after such a long time, but time just hasn't permitted. One of the things about being here is distractions. Oh my God, like, I just find myself being distracted by so many things. It seems like even more so now that I've been gone for a year and I'm back, it seems that I, the distractions are just out of this world. I, I don't think I ever really realized how easily distracted you can get being here. So, for instance, so many people are talking about different shows that are so good and so uh, especially the newer shows that are coming out about us are more feel good and more positive so i find myself trying to catch up on that kind of stuff but it's really not doing me any good because i am not here for that i am here to handle my business so i find myself trying to find some balance and that's been hard i'd say that now that the holidays are over, maybe I can get myself together, get on track, get some things done that I really need to be getting done. So we came during the holiday season, which was not planned. It just kind of happened like that. So we've been able to, you know, visit with a lot of friends and family, you know, get that part in, which is good, but that's not why we're here. Yeah, so it's just time to get back to the reasons why we're here and that's to make a better life in Ghana. So I had someone, they said that I seemed like I regretted making the move to Ghana. But let's be clear, there's nothing to regret. I don't regret my move at all. I don't regret anything about my journey at all. This is kind of the way it goes. I'll say that maybe Probably 75% of, to 80% of the repatriates that I know who are doing well and have homes and have businesses and things of that nature. They're older people who also receive retirement. Or they're people who have done what I'm doing. And that is going and coming till things get uh, where we want it to be. Be that your businesses are flourishing or homes are completed or whatever it is that makes you need to come back here or go back to the UK or wherever you're from. Many, many of the very successful repatriates that I know have all said that this was the easiest way for them to do it. I didn't think that it would I would need to take this route but I think it's the best route for us also. I'm saying it all to say, you have to do what you have to do. One of the major things that I deal with being here is the anxiety. The anxiety of this all can be quite overwhelming, uh, just the anxiety alone, because of this feeling of captivity. Like, you just feel so not free. I've gotten used to what it feels like to be free and this is very uncomfortable for me. Sometimes you have to do things that make you uncomfortable to make yourself even more comfortable. When I was here before, things were tense. I think now with um, the president-elect and all of the things that's happening, I mean, we have a president-elect who tweets all of his thoughts um, and the world is like really watching it's 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 quite interesting to watch uh the person who is going to be running this country responding to other world leaders via twitter and it's another distraction of course i try so hard to not get really wrapped up in what's going on with um the world around me so that i can deal with my own little world but that's not easy. It's not easy to not think about all of the other things that are going on here and all of the things that are starting to happen. Um, 
out loud, you know, a lot of people are saying what they think. The, that whole thing about just kind of being respectful, <laughs> it's kind of gone out of the window. There are a lot of people here who are just going in, saying whatever the hell they want to say, doing whatever the hell they want to do. Anxiety level is the root of it, like, through the roof. I'm always worried about what's gonna happen is with my husband and my children, I'm always worried. Like right now with my husband traveling, um, I'm trying to, you know, handle business. I'm worried about, you know, what's gonna happen or if I'm gonna get a phone call saying that something happened, um, be it with the police or some random idiot. Uh, feeling some kind of way because not only is he a black man, a big black man, but he's also a foreigner. That worries me. As far as my children, um, I worry more about my oldest child than the younger ones because my, my oldest child is in Atlanta with her other siblings, um, but I worry about uh, the crime rate that has gone through the roof in Atlanta and all of the other things that, of course, mothers worry about anyway. Yeah, so that plus, you know, just trying to get things done in a timely manner. Distractions, oh my God, I'm always distracted here. There's so many distractions. Oh my goodness. I'm here for a purpose and I need to fulfill that purpose one way or another. So trying to stay focused is so difficult. It is so difficult. Hopefully now that the holidays are over, it'll be easier to focus 